Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing with some some say high skill deck, some say low skill deck. It's always a debate where the deck is high skill or not in the community of Boom Arena. Either way, I present you the all beloved or hated Remy Ellie's uh, Digger deck. So uh, I reckon you probably know this deck. And because at some point it was like the third most used deck in the game, my opponent will be now Welk uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Very simple yet effective name to scare off your opponents. I'm gonna actually go for the mini Olin here. Let's see how my opponent will grasp the defense. He actually doesn't defend uh, some of my. Some of the things at all. This swordsman should be able to connect on the tower, and I think that's gonna be just the uh, tower down. My opponent will get a mad madness in this circumstance to get the uh, footman to get one hit, and then fold up with the far tiny. I don't think it's gonna be good enough for my opponent. I'm gonna play the swordsman just to. Just to block this helicopter, I'm gonna play some <coughs> bone blasters to hide these shield skeletons, and then I'm gonna get a lot of connections with my um, uh, yeah uh, with my bone blasters. So my opponent actually struggles to defend my pressure. Very interesting to see. He also starts to BM, even though I don't know where was my fault of BM. He's gonna actually play some helicopter on opposite side. I don't really mind taking this damage because I'm gonna obviously get way more in return. I'm gonna play some stone force to minimize the damage. At least I hope I'm gonna minimize some damage. And yeah, at this point my opponent is absolutely desperate, desperate to get anything from this game. So I might as well just go in and get a twister because I don't think my opponent is interesting uh, in any type of defense so yeah I'm gonna just take the twister right here very rare when you're playing uh, Remy Ali's deck but sometimes it happens it's always nice to see GG's nice play let's drop the game number two and the next opponent on my list will be MGDs who uh, I don't know what that nickname means but certainly it means something since he Name his Boom Arena account after this. Either way, I'm gonna be playing uh, against some uh, machine gun in this scenario. And my opponent will be actually getting a very lucky kiting here. I wouldn't say it's lucky because obviously I misplayed these uh, bomb blasters. Also, he got like very uh, on point uh, T Rex. I'm gonna actually try to. <laughs> try uh, to prevent myself from saying lucky in today's video wish me luck honestly i'm gonna play a swordsman just to hide the dark knight so that two towers can engage it and a piercing archer on top and the swordsman basically this dark knight stands absolutely no chance i'm gonna go for the bone blaster because honestly why not let's just force some things out of my opponent and actually he gets another dark knight which i don't think even is a mistake i'm gonna play some stone falls here. I'm gonna play piercing archer here, and right now I'm actually in a bit of trouble. Even though I get this Viking Tower activation, I'm gonna receive a lot of damage from this machine gun because I didn't have the perfect hand uh, to stop this Dark Knight. I mean, I kinda spent six mana to stop this because I have no clue he's gonna pull out a mirror. And yeah, that's that's sometimes the case with the mirror. You never expect it. Also, my opponent will be playing three gunners, which is uh, absolutely bonkers. Let's try to defend this. I'm gonna obviously playing swordsman because it's by far the most consistent response in my deck against three gunners, and I spent a lot of mana to defend this. Obviously, I would love to play a bomb tower on it as well or a rolling steel, but I had all these responses out of hand so very unfortunate uh, right here i'm gonna play a bomb tower to cut the bomb blasters and he's gonna actually mirror them so that's gonna be double the value for me 
I'm gonna play some Bomb Blasters to kite this Viking back and he actually plays the Machine Gun, so I was about to say very lucky, but then I realized that I was about to say that uh, to, to not use the word, words lucky or unlucky in this video. I'm gonna play Prison Archer here, just get a monster lineup of this tower, and right now I'm kinda back into this game, like 400 damage uh, to make up is not too much of a deal. I'm gonna play Bomb Blaster on the opponent's side. Obviously, against a heavier dex, you want to always strike your opponent on the opposite side because there's always the chance that they won't be having the perfect defense. I'm gonna play a digger here just to kite these two darkness and uh, perfectly for me, neither of these uh, jump. I'm gonna play a swordsman here. I actually don't care if they jump or not. I'm gonna play another set of bone blasters just to make my opponent stand. And this bomb tower absolutely carries the show, as well as this piercing archer. And this point, I actually took the damage lead, which is absolutely perfect. I think he's gonna be playing a dark knight, but he misplaced the dark knight. I'm gonna play the piercing archer here. I'm gonna play cyclone just to get get this lineup going. And had I gone, had I gotten one more. The piercing archer connection that would have been GG instantly. I'm gonna just play one more digger. And that's gonna be GG's. Very tough game against MGDs. But after all of that, we've managed to come back, even though he had a very nice machine gun lock at the beginning. So, GG's nice played. We take the game two. Let's jump to game number three. And the next game of today's video will be against Salt with 1200, almost 1300 mils. Let's just play Bomb Blasters and. Try something out. I'm gonna play Digger here just to prevent any cheese options to get through. And I have absolutely no idea how this Digger went through the already, uh, I mean, still alive bomb tower. But it doesn't really matter. We can still come back from this. I'm gonna actually play Cyclone to just kill this piercing archer. And at this point, I think my opponent kinda has a problem because, okay, he, he actually doesn't want to he actually doesn't want to uh, defend at all i'm gonna try to defend this thief and it was absolutely perfect he bridge spams me with a ghost which i don't think is a good play because at this point he should realize that i have a swordsman to just counter it and that was a very good sequence for me i'm keeping the cyclone for the uh, piercing archer if he decides to pull the trigger but he doesn't very nice choice and yeah, the salt obviously will be playing a Viking Bridge Mom. The game was kind of dynamic and I couldn't like call it way before. I'm gonna play uh, Digger here. Let's try to get a double hit with Bomb Blasters. Unfortunately, I will get only one hit because I kind of blundered it. Uh, and right now, I think I think I'm gonna just get a uh, Bomb Tower here. And let's just uh, try to uh, defend it uh, the regular, normal way. I'm gonna play Swordsman here. Try to get these splashy splashes. Mutar obviously will fall, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's not the worst. And we're gonna get away with a perfect defense, except like the poison, but like we cannot prevent that. We're gonna get, go in. He's gonna block our piercing archer, he's gonna actually get a pretty nice defense against this, so I'm gonna give him nice play, because obviously it was a very nice play. I'm gonna go for a rolling steel, and right now he's gonna actually go for the uh, uh, thingy, for the twins. So I'm gonna just go for the swordsman, just to protect my... Uh, just to protect my things, I'm gonna go for the Digger and Bone Blasters, he's gonna hit once again a very nice prediction, but <laughs> that being said, my Digger still gets a value, so he's gonna have to at some point address this issue, obviously Bone Tower will bring me infinite value, I'm gonna get one more Digger, he's gonna probably even get a Okay, he's not gonna get a footman back here, he's gonna get a footman back here, and I think it's already too late. I'm gonna get a cycle here, honestly, to get a lineup, and that's gonna be GG's nice play, just to close the game even faster. My opponent actually playing very interesting Viking bird spam, but it wasn't enough for today. We're gonna take it up and move to the game number four. 
And another opponent in our video will be who is DP, who starts with the explore, which is already a very encouraging sign because it's gonna most likely be a very well known 2.6 super a deck. That's why I was very comfortable with playing a digger in a spot where your opponent can easily play a cyclone on it and activate the Viking Tower. Also, my opponent will be playing a footman kick variation here, which is pretty surprising. Usually, people just copy decks and do not even think about any risk placements, so I kind of was expecting this one. My opponent will be playing a Drunk Loon. Okay, so that's gonna be the difference, obviously. I'm gonna actually play a Bomb Tower just to counter the balloon. Let's see, my opponent will try to get a Blitz. I hope he doesn't have Freeze, but even if he did, I would have a Cyclone for that, and that shouldn't be a problem ever. I think I'm gonna just go for the Swordsman right now and some Bone Blasters just to try to get... I absolutely didn't want to play Prisoner in the back, but it doesn't really matter. There's a very cute play that you can make in this situation. I wanted to go for it. It's just playing a Cyclone uh, on the Gunner just to get it in the range of the Bone Blasters that are about to explode. I would have killed the Gunner for 3 mana and that's uh, at least in my uh, books almost always worth it. I'm gonna play a Stone Falls here and right now he's gonna go for the balloon. I don't think I'm gonna just go for the bomb tower because I don't see a reason why I should waste a, a Cyclone uh, once again. I kinda feel like I'm gonna just keep the Cyclone as a constant threat for him and I'm gonna just pull the trigger on the offense because uh, I can always defend the balloon, at least um, allow only death drop and that's already very good. I'm gonna actually drop a bigger and bomb blaster and my opponent forfeits the game which is very interesting for me either way we're gonna be just proceeding to win the game anyway i'm gonna be just casually playing my entire deck on this viking tower and still waiting for 20 seconds to get a three star so yeah that's gonna be the game number four my opponent kind of put up a nice fight, but uh, he knew that my 8th card was a Cyclone and I wouldn't wish my upon my worst enemy to play a Balloon into a building and a Cyclone, which is <laughs> absolutely hard counter against any Balloon deck and he knew that. So yeah, very unfortunate matchup for him. Let's just do the game number 5 and wrap this video up. And the last game of today's video will be very likely against a user with a number over 400,000 and this time I'm almost without it. Okay, every time I say it, I always fail to predict, so I'm not gonna say it <laughs> anymore. In this video, frankly, I won't even have an option because it's the last opponent I'm gonna be facing, so no more new opponents. Hooray! Either way, with that round out of the way, uh, my opponent will be playing some kind of a bizarre deck, which I Firstly, mistaken for a 2.6 Super 8 cycle because you kind of have to assume that if your opponent kind of has a nick which resembles their ID more than their personality and uh, their first starting hand uh, is like Skeletons, Ice Tiny or uh, Organer, you kind of have to assume it's a Super 8 cycle and uh, yeah, that's also what I have assumed as well. I'm gonna counter this gunner, I hope, yeah, there we go, my piercing archer stays alive. Obviously, it can be killed by pretty much anything at this point, but I don't really care. I just want my opponent to kind of waste more mana, and there we go, he wasted mana. Let's just go for the opposite side, strike in the... Strike while he's weak. I'm gonna just go for the pressure on the opposite side, since he has wasted a spell. And right now, we're gonna just be feasting on his tower, these stone phones are getting absolutely infinite damage. Right now, I think I can even snipe this can with the piercing archer, but I don't see the necessity to do it uh, right now. I'm gonna just play rolling steel. Honestly, why not? He kinda thinks I'm lucky, even though I kinda prepared this whole sequence for it to be working. He still thinks it is lag based, very interesting to see. Both bomb blasters will connect to the tower, that was definitely not lag, that was just. Uh, the lack of defense of yours. Uh, my opponent will be getting a very huge value with the Necromancer though, so I would say that was nice play out of him. 
And now I think my since my opponent just showed his biggest win condition of the game, I think we are relatively safe till the end. I'm gonna just play QC Archer. I don't feel like playing for a 3-star because my opponent probably will just uh, defend for eternity and that's like the most painful thing to see like actually trying to go for a 3-star while your opponent is actively trying to prevent you from doing so. I'm gonna go for a 3-star actually because honestly my opponent is not doing a great job on defense so I might as well just keep attacking him making him frustrated and yeah there we go. My opponent won't get any significant damage on his tower. I'm gonna get everything I wanted from this game and that's gonna be also the end for today's video with the Remy Ellis uh, Digger Piercing Archer Cyclone deck which is very, I would say it's very hard to pick up but it's very hard to master. If you're playing against better players you will know why it's very difficult, you don't have like a big spell so you kind of have to rely on this piercing archer to be your big spell with a cyclone and also you're playing obviously digger which is one of the hardest uh, win conditions to master in boom arena but if you do you'll be almost unstoppable and i wish all of you that are with me uh, in the end of today's video that you will eventually master this deck one day and become a boom arena champion so yeah, that's gonna be it for me in today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already, because I post a Boomerang content every single day and you might find some of it interesting, so definitely check it out. And yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Marina.